Well, welcome to the end. That's right. This is the seventh of seven videos looking at how to scope a traditional project management project. And what we're going to do during this video is very briefly look at what types of questions you should expect as you're presenting your project overview statement. Um, and then kind of how do you handle that meeting? Who are the stakeholders that are going to be involved in doing so? So here's a, a list of uh, some review questions that you should expect from senior management. Shouldn't be, uh, it's not an all inclusive list, but it really does get you thinking about it. You know, how important is this project compared to all the other issues that we have facing the uh, company? How is it related to our key enablers? How is the goal statement related directly to the problem or opportunity? Um, a little bit of, you know, uh, wordsmithing in terms of the objectives. Are they clear representations of that goal statement? Uh, this goes back to that first bullet is there sufficient business value? Uh, that's going to warrant further expenditures. You know, are we crafting a $10,000 solution to a $1,000 problem, or is this really one of those top business opportunities or top problems that needs to be addressed within the company? Um, finally, you'll look at risk and the business value, and then can those risks be mitigated? So, uh, gaining approval should be straightforward at this point. One page document. If it's going to happen, it's going to happen. If it's not, uh, you have not expended too many resources in scoping out the problem. Time to go look at other issues. And I'm sure if the project is rejected, then you're going to see uh, comments back from uh, senior management and uh, executives in terms of what other projects do need to be done that have a higher perceived business value or, uh, or a better uh, problem or opportunity to uh, address. Uh, these are the folks that you'll see uh, in there, but uh, at the end of the day, it's senior management that's going to make the call in terms of whether you continue with this project or do not continue with this project. All right, very cool, very cool indeed. We This concludes the seventh of seven videos looking at how to scope a traditional project management project. And what we're going to do in the next series of videos uh, is get into the planning, look at how we uh, plan a traditional project management project. So keep on studying, keep on learning, and I'll see you in the next video.